for my quick build, I will be building the Lindbergh 120th scale GMC Cyclone, one of my favorite pickup trucks. So some of my first steps into building this would be I will be stripping this chrome off of the wheels since this is way too shiny for the wheels. The real wheels are like a polished aluminum look. So I'm going to strip the paint off, strip the chrome off, clean up the wheels because the plastic is, the mold is pretty bad here. I'm going to have to open up some of these spokes here and put black primer on it and then put some proper aluminum, polished aluminum paint over it to make it look better. Another thing I will do first is I'll glue the body together. I'll double check that I can do that. Same with the body panels. See these? Glue that together. Good. I'll sand everything down. For this 120th scale truck, since it's bigger, some of these panel lines should be slightly deeper. Uh, looking at this instruction sheet, maybe about 10 times each side, I noticed that there are no paint color callouts anywhere except for here. Aluminum and flat tan. You know, I cannot build a kit like that where I'm just gonna paint everything in the engine aluminum, everything else in the chassis black, and the body black. Okay, so now I guess this is not a quick build. I will have to do some research on this car to figure out how to properly paint the engine, the underbody, etc. Another thing I noticed is um, this truck bed here. When you put it together, do you see that gap? That's a really big gap. So I'm gonna have to figure out a way to straighten this out. See? So I did some test fitting of the truck bed to the truck body, taped it to keep it aligned, and confirmed that the body kit pieces will be pretty much aligned if I glue the truck bed to the body exactly like this. Since there is a gap between the truck bed and the body, I just want to reinforce it right here, the white and right there. This is the last sanding stick I have because the cement, the spilled cement, destroyed my other ones. Look at that. Here's another piece that has to be flush and aligned well. So I'm just going to hold it with my fingers and drop some Tamiya Extra Thin on it. Even so, it's not perfect. There's a little hole there. This grill is still a tight fit. There's a piece of plastic keeping this pushed out and not flush. It's this bar that I put in earlier. All right, so now after lots of filing, I got the grill to fit in for the back uh, tailgate. So see this? It just sits right on top of the body. So there's a little tab sitting there right on top where the uh, tail lights go. I had to get the light and check and there is a little divot back here. So they made a little workaround for their workaround. So that divot goes right over that tab. So not only do the mirrors 
don't look right. They're flat, and there's a little sinkhole right here. For the back suspension, I'm gonna try to raise it three millimeters. So there's a little notch down here in the suspension. So I'm gonna get rid of that notch by putting a piece of plastic on top of the notch. That's about three millimeters. That way this axle will sit on top of the piece of plastic rather than inside of the notch, which is lower. Put a glue right there. So now I got the two rods in, it can actually go up and down. It's gonna go up into the body and if I lift it out, it'll drop down. So, I mean, if I had this on jacks, it will look realistic, right? The wheels would drop down. That's a little better, I think. Plastic that came out of the mold. Got to clean off so the best way to sand inside these spokes is to use a flexi file set. That way I can get the sanding strip in between the spokes. Flexi file was too wide. I cut down the strip to about three millimeters. It's okay, a lot better than before. 